I'm David Hover. I'm head of the BFTV department at Troisies. BFTV stands for Bachelor of Film and Television. It's a three-year diploma course. What we're trying to do is to prepare the students for future careers in film and television. So over the three years, we try to build that process up. The students come in with no particular knowledge of this, and they're straight out of school, most of them. So the first year is a uh, foundation year, uh, where we're learning the essential building blocks, the fundamental knowledge, the fundamental skills that they'll need for later. Second and third years, we're very focused on skills. It's a business where it's not so much what you know that counts, it's what you can do that counts. To come back to the first year again, so this foundation year, we try to cover a very broad range of subjects. We have knowledge subjects, cultural subjects in the history of cinema, history of art, history of photography, media studies. We're also covering skills in terms of writing for journalism, for television uh, reports and documentaries as well as writing for fiction. We have scenario classes and writing workshops. There are, of course, workshops in the essential skills in filmmaking, uh, workshops in sound, workshops in editing and in uh, camera work, as well as workshops in production, of course. So we're focusing on skills, lots of practice, lots of practical applications in the second and third years. There aren't just classes, of course, all year round. We are making films all the time. The students have what we call totems, which are films which they make entirely by themselves. We'll give them a challenge, something to do. Maybe make a film where you tell the story just through the sound, for example. And they will go off and write their own scenarios, uh, film it amongst themselves in groups of about five students each time, uh, which will then be projected and will go through and, and uh, assess what they've done. So they'll be doing this at least twice a semester. And at the end of the semester, we have our main production for that semester. What we're trying to do is to put into practice this type of skills and knowledge they've been learning over the semester. So at the end of the first semester of the first year, uh, we have what we call the portrait, because the first semester was very much focused on journalism skills, documentary stuff. So the students work in groups of six or seven uh, each one has a specific role. Uh, one is the director, one is the cameraman, one is the sound operator, one the producer and so on. And they will find somebody for whom they will make the portrait. Uh, it's a four minute portrait. Uh, they have two days to film it, three days to edit it. And once again, we're trying to apply everything they've learned this semester. Second semester, that's focused on fiction. So they get together once again in groups of six or seven to write their own fiction and uh, cast their, uh, their actors to find actors to do this, uh, find the locations and then film on set for four days filming and four days editing at the end. Each of these productions is then shown to a jury of the heads of the department at the school where they'll get professional feedback on what they've done. A typical school day is about seven hours. It would come to about three hours of lectures in the morning and four hours of workshop in the afternoon. And that will be for three or four days a week on average. I'd say on average we're about three and a half days of classes, so about 25 hours of classes every week during term time. Um, obviously they need time as well to get on with filming and doing their own projects as well as homework and things like that. In terms of career paths, it's really important for me that things remain flexible and broad. I myself have been working in the profession for over 35 years. In my time, I've been editor, director, colorist. There are all sorts of, it's a, it's a flexible business and you need to stay flexible. Uh, the students here are young, they're starting off, they're just on the, on the verge of their careers. A lot of them don't know exactly what they want to do and they won't know until they've put this into practice. So once again, things need to be broad and flexible. And there are all sorts of careers out there, both in France and uh, internationally. It's important too that anyone who wants to go on to do further studies can do so. 
The, the bachelor course here is entirely um, integrated with the university system. You get ECTS credits at the end of every year, so when you leave you get um, the equivalent of a Bachelor of the Arts in terms of credits. So any student who wants to go on later to do a master, for example, or further studies has everything they need to be able to apply and to continue in that direction.